GlaxoSmithKline may be warming up to a simpler breakup treatment. The $98 billion drug maker announced in 2018 a plan to spin off its consumer division, which makes products like Sensodyne toothpaste and Advil painkillers. But following recent pressure from activist Elliott advisors, GSK said it would consider a sale of the consumer business. A sale would offer a cleaner break for CEO Emma Walmsley. The division could fetch up to $70 billion if it were valued on the same 16 times multiple as rival Reckitt Benkheiser, and that could go a long way to paying down GSK's £21 billion debt pile. There's also likely to be plenty of interest. The business could attract bids from American consumer giants like Johnson & Johnson or Procter & Gamble. These buyers are likely to find plenty of manufacturing synergies. A sale could also help Walmsley. Her current spin-off plan will take another year, and her plan to hold on to a 20% stake in the new pharma division may muddy the investment case and weigh on the share price. Going for a cleaner break may offer a more straightforward cure.